Hey, it's Time of Dish with Dee. This is present Denise. Past Dee is going to be making you some oatmeal bake. But what I wanted to say, because I'm probably not, I didn't think of it until after I filmed, is these would make awesome oatmeal cupcakes or like oatmeal muffins. The top it with the little bit of the topping that we topped the bake with. So keep that in mind when you watch the video. Like try making individual oatmeal muffins and top it with the, you know, peanut butter and, you know, the marshmallow cream. Just a thought. Just a thought. It's what I do. All right. Let's roll the footage. And you see me in the past. This is me in the present, but not me in the future. I don't know. Yeah. Watch. Hey, it's time to dish with D. That's me. It's Saturday morning. Well, I'm not sure when you'll see this, but Saturday morning when I'm filming it. Because I wanted a nice hearty breakfast, so I thought I'd reach for my Hungry Girl magazine, and I'm going to make the Hungry Girl peanut butter marshmallow fluff oatmeal bake. I've been talking about making it, so today's the perfect day to do that. So I thought I'd film it because, you know, maybe you're thinking about it, and you want to see what it looks like, and hey, you want to know how it tastes. And Dee's your girl for all that fun stuff. So let's get started, because I'm hungry. Have our nice bowl. I wish I had a clear bowl because you could really see inside. Note to self, I need to find a clear bowl with a spout. It's on my to-do list. All right, let's go. In a large bowl, combine the oats. Okay, combine the oats. All right. Okay. Be, be forewarned, I am, I've just woken up, so I may not be fully awake for this, so... All right, the oats are three cups of old-fashioned oats, also known as rolled oats. No, you cannot sub it out the other ones because they just won't bake up as nice, and the steel cut won't bake up at all. It'll be hard. And the quick, I don't know. You could probably try the quick, but you might have to add a little bit more because they might not have the body that this is going to have. Yeah, it's like that was body. <laughs> All righty. Oats, powdered peanut butter, half a cup of powdered peanut butter. Okay, have my powdered peanut butter right here. I use the Great Value brand of powdered peanut butter for this. You could use whatever one you have on hand. And Hungry Girl calculates the points for this, so I will have her video, I mean her recipe. Well, I can't link it because I don't think you can find it. Oh, that's going to suck as I'm at the front. Oh, crud. Never mind. All right. Okay. Uh, sweetener. Okay, two tablespoons. I'm using, she uses Truvia. I'm going to use sucre and gold, brown sugar. I just feel like that's what I want to use. But again, you use whatever sweetener you choose. Will it affect the points? It won't affect mine because mine is zero. So I always say do the zero point calorie replacement. And I think it said chia seeds. Did I say the chia seeds? Yes. Yeah, so it is one and a half tablespoons of chia seeds. And I use the Nutstop organic chia seeds. If you're new to Nutstop, you can go down in my description box. There is a 10% off for dried fruits, nuts, chia seeds, all kinds of really cool stuff on there. If you've never shopped there, you can use, like I said, the 10% off. They have really, really high quality nuts, dried fruits, chia seeds, trail mixes, even little chocolate treats. I mean, it's a really nice little place. All right, salt. I'm just gonna grind some in. The recipe did call for a quarter teaspoon, okay. Baking powder, two teaspoons. So, I tried to have everything here so it wouldn't be that much of a hot mess, but uh, you never know with me. Two teaspoons. Cinnamon. Oh gosh, the recipe just closed up. Two teaspoons. Don't worry about this. All right. Oh 
yes, it's a hot mess here today in Dish With D. Okay, peanut butter, sweetener, chia seeds, baking powder, cinnamon, and salt. Mix well. All right, we, that I can do, I think. If I can handle that. That brown sugar broken up. What I love about the soup rate, it really is like brown sugar. Quite honestly, it, it holds together like brown sugar does. The other ones, to me, just didn't do that. Of the brown sugar replacements. Now, I love Lakanto Golden, don't get me wrong, but it's not a brown sugar substitute. It's not. And it tells you that. It's for, I keep it what they call gold. It's for a, like a sugar in the raw type thing. So if you want brown sugar, you go with Sucrin. You can go with the Swerve. It's okay. I do prefer Sucrin. I'm willing to pay the price for it. All right. Mix well. Add milk, applesauce, egg whites. Okay. So we're going to add our wet ingredients to this. So first it's going to be the either unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I'm using cashew milk because that's what I use. So let's grab. Of course I forgot the one I needed. I don't want to have to finish. All right. What did I say it was? One and a half cups. So we'll just use our half cups. This is our half cup. One and a half cups. So that's the half. Half, well, just add a half cup. And we'll use one cup. One dead soldier. But we got another replacement. Why? Because I cannot live without cashew milk. Just can't. Refuse to. And that's the one. Fine. Egg whites. Half a cup. You could use eggs, I'm sure, but I have egg whites, so I'm using them. And if you're on green, this is what you would use. Half a cup of unsweetened applesauce. So I save this for a Saturday. It's a lot of steps for me. I just can't get the applesauce up. Yes! Can she do it, ladies and gentlemen? I don't know. I didn't have my Wheaties today, did I? So half a cup of applesauce, unsweetened, of course. There we go. And our vanilla extract. Two teaspoons. I know I brought it over. Here it is. She's hiding. Two teaspoons. I think that's it. Let me double check real quick. <laughs> uh, cinnamon, salt, mix with milk, applesauce, egg whites, vanilla, and stir till uniform. All right, we got that. All right, just gotta stir until it's all fully combined. Note to self, D, don't film early on a Saturday morning. You're not awake and you're not coherent. We have our prepared eight by eight pan, spray with nonstick spray. We're just gonna dump our mixture right in there. You probably could make this the night before and then top it in the morning. That would be my suggestion because it has to sit before you top it. So if you're doing this before you go to work, yeah, I would probably do that. Or if you wanna do like a meal prep, Probably good for meal prep, though it only makes, I believe, four servings, is it? Yeah, one-fourth of the recipe. So it's a generous serving for six points, I think. Get all that in there, because we don't want all that in. We don't want to waste it. Hi. Okay. So there's chia seeds. Okay, we're going to bake this in our 350-degree oven for... Let's see, 35 minutes. And we're gonna come back, let it, it has to cool for 40 minutes after that. So 
We'll be back. Maybe I'll show you when I pull it out of the oven and then we'll let it sit for 45 minutes. All right, it baked for 30 minutes. I just pulled it out of the oven. It looks and smells heavenly. So it says here to let it cool completely. I didn't really read that ahead of time. So yeah, I'm gonna be having a late breakfast this morning. But we will be back to top it. Okay, our bake, it's not cool completely. It's a little bit warm, but I'm hungry and I'm not waiting any longer. So it says, grab the glasses. All right. In a small bowl, combined two teaspoons of creamy peanut butter with two tablespoons of powdered peanut butter and two and a half tablespoons of water and mix to uniform. All right, here is my creamy and my powdered. So we're going to put our two and a half tablespoons of water in there. And we're going to mix to combine. This is our peanut butter drizzle. Now, why you don't use all powdered peanut butter, I don't know. I'm not sure what the reasoning for using the regular peanut butter. Okay, should be a drizzle, so mine's a little too thick. A little bit more water. Open that a little bit because it needs to drizzle, and that won't be drizzling anywhere. <laughs> a little bit more. You'll be able to judge the consistency that you want. All right, that's good. All righty. Put that down. It says, before serving, spread marshmallow cream over the oatmeal bake. So we have a half a cup of the fluff or marshmallow cream. I sprayed mine with a little spray so it would um, pop out. And let's just grab a spatula and spread her out. As best as you can. It's not a lot of marshmallow cream, so you're not going to get a lot on each piece. Yeah, this is not spreading well. I don't think it was actually ice cold. This is actually a little bit warm, so you think it would spread a little bit better. So you spread it as best you can. It's actually, oops, <laughs> we didn't see that, right? You didn't see that. Oops, you didn't see that either. Okay, there was actually some up on this. Yeah, let's just grab that little bit left. Let's there. What we just do is evenly as you can, it's not going to be perfect. Maybe you could heat this up, it might spread a little bit nicer. There we go. Yeah, we don't want to do any more because I'm going to be messing this bad boy up. All right, then it says to just drizzle this and you can drag it. This is not something you want to make on a day where you're really starving because this is taking quite you just spread it like that so you get it a little bit like oh doesn't that look pretty there you go so you get evenly amount of peanut butter and fluff get those corners because this is six servings i think i might have said four it's six So there you have it. Just dump this little bit left. I think it looks just like the picture. So six servings. We're gonna cut ourselves a serving for six smart points and I'm gonna taste it because this is my breakfast. Breakfast of champions, I like to say. Yeah, let's have a taste with how good it looks. Plenty of marshmallow and fluff. That's what you're paying the points for, quite honestly. Mm. Good. It's 
Amazing. So good. Awesome. I'm gonna grab the point sheet. Hold on. Hungry Girl gives you the PDF with the points. So I, the Make Ahead Oatmeal Bakes, Marshmallow Peanut Butter Oatmeal Bake, seven points. That was why I said six. Seven points. That's pretty steep for oatmeal bake, but this is not just your oatmeal bake. Look at the decadence of this oatmeal bake. So you have to decide whether you want to spend seven points on this. Like I said, you're paying most of your points for your fluff and your peanut. Could you leave out that two tablespoons of peanut butter? Two teaspoons, I'm sorry, two teaspoons of peanut butter. I think so, quite honestly. I don't know how many points it adds, but I would leave it out. I don't really think it needs it. But I'm gonna go enjoy this. Thank you for joining me for breakfast. Have a great day. If you enjoy this, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I might have to put this recipe in the blog because I don't know if you can get this recipe on her website. I don't think you can. I think you have to get the magazine, which not everybody gets. So let me ponder that one and I will dish another day.